Welcome back to another Leaf Blower Revolution guide. This is the fifth guide in the series, and in this guide we'll be going through the Celestial Plane up to the Mythical Garden. <coughs> Firstly, once you enter the Celestial Plane, you'll realize that Celestial Leaves don't spawn like, like usually leaves do. But you also realize that you can get Celestial Leaves by killing the enemies on screen. To get a really quick bonus of how many Celestial Leaves you can get per enemy, I highly recommend saving up 50 celestial leaves going to the tool shop which is in the bottom left and equipping the celestial blower equip this and this will give you a nice boost of celestial leaves by 50 base amount after that we want to head up to the celestial shop and purchase some high priority upgrades these high priority upgrades are worthy enemies which increase enemy resources by 25 percent per level more enemies please, which increases spawn rate by 1% more level. Celestial combo, which increases, not increases, it gives combo multiplier to effects to, to your enemies and celestial leaf rewards. And also increasing the amount of combo you have. We don't need to worry about offline celestials, which basically means to get offline celestial leaves as you'll be need, requiring the next leaf to make that effective. You'll also be needing Celestial Marketing, which does the same as the previous marketing. And you can also get more BLC to increase BLC and also AOB hit damage. So yeah, so your AOBs can do some damage to the Celestial enemies as well. Now, let's go over to the BLC shop and get some important upgrades in here. Now, while you're here, you can BLC as much as you want anytime you want doesn't really matter take it as your own pace i'll just be taking you the sort of the most efficient route slash upgrades that you need to get to efficiently and quickly get through this progression of the game now one of the first upgrades i'll recommend you getting at this point is offline crunches and offline blc at least put one upgrade in each of these this will give you offline blc and blc while you're offline so while you're offline you can get a healthy chunk of blc when you log back on another high priority upgrade i'd recommend you getting is crunchy coins right here which basically means that your prestige coins will persist through BLC, BLC, but the upgrades in the pre-stage shop will disappear, but you'll also get a nice healthy chunk of prestige coins when prestiging. I'd recommend putting some, a couple levels in here, as it will double the rewards per level. Now, in this, in this stage of the game, you will get access to four major um, mechanics that we need to go over as they all are beneficial to progression. These mechanics are trading, crafting, pets, and unique leaves. So let's start with pets. To unlock pets, you will need to get 1 million BLC, and once you unlock that, close out of the BLC shop and it will be in the top menu. Now, everything in this top left menu is basically permanent just like the gem shop, so no prestige, no nothing, we'll be getting rid of the upgrades in there or pets slash unique leaves that you have unlocked. Now, the pets looks like a dog on the front. Click this and you'll be brought up to a menu with pets in it. Now, these pets have a diverse effects and help you at any stage of the game. The first one that I'd recommend you get is Foxo. This gives you 200% increased BLC rewards and is the first pet I'd recommend you farm to. Now, the, uh, you need 2 million BLC to unlock each pet, so it does take a little bit of grinding to get to, but in the end, these give you high amounts of rewards when unlocked. So the first one I highly recommend you get to is Foxo. Another two pets that I recommend you get are Doggo, which increases combo multiplier by 50%, and Caddo, which increases enemy rewards by 200%. So a nice tip with this one is when you're farming, you can have your enemy resource rewards by increased by 200% with Caddo, and then switch to Foxo when you need to get more, when you are BLCing. Note, at this stage of the game, you can only have one pet, or if you've done the challenge, up to two. So pick which pet you're using wisely. Let's close out of that, and let's get on to the new, our new, other new mechanics. 
The next one I'm going to be going through is a unique leaf. You buy the unique leaf in the VLC shop and it looks like a fiery leaf here. There are two, two upgrades here to actually unlock the unique leaf and also greedy uniques. Greedy uniques is basically how many uni unique leaves you can have operating at one time. You'll be able to upgrade this all the way up to you have every unique leaf working at the same time. Now, the unique leaf is in the same spot as the pet leaf, up in the top left. Click on this and we brought up to this menu. Now, these unique leaves are very special as there is only one that you can get and you need a specific type of tool in a specific type of area and having a certain amount of leaves of a specific type. So one of the first unique leaves you want to go for is this ghost leaf, which increases the BLC value by 500%. Really useful and will dramatically increase the amount of BLC that you'll be getting. To get the ghost leaf, you need to have the blowfish tool in use. You need to go to the space area and have over 1D cosmic leaves. Some other unique leaves that I highly recommend you get is Glitter Leaf, which increases combo rewards by 300%. To get the Glitter Leaf, you need to use any rake at the mountain while having 1D Business Leaf. And then another one I would recommend getting is Rainbow Leaf, which increases seed rewards by 50%, and you have to use the Rocket Engine at the Celestial Plane while having over 100,000 Celestial Leaves. Now, you can continue unlocking these once you've unlocked different areas, but those are the main three that we need to focus on at this point. Let's go over the, the other two mechanics, and so the next one I'm going to be going over is trading. Now, to unlock trading, go back to the BLC shop, and there'll be three different types of trading upgrades. The act to actually unlock trading, leaf trader, and trading education. Leaf trading basically means you'll be able to have more trades going at once, and then trading education, which will increase the trading level. Now, trading is viable throughout the whole game. Basically, what it is, is that you're trading one leaf type for another leaf type. This will be really useful as later on, you'll be able to trade a leaf for a leaf in an area that you have unlocked. That, so, that you have unlocked in with the previous leaf, but have not unlocked the area for. Which will be really helpful as you'll be able to use printers to print that leaf even once you've traded for that leaf. So it becomes really helpful to get a really good kick of BLC as those leaves have a BLC upgrade in them that will be able to get more BLC to unlock that area for. Now, trading education increases the level of trading, which means that besides getting like 10 normal leaves and then getting five gold leaves, you'll be getting 100 normal leaves and trading them for 50 gold leaves so it just increases the amount of leaves that you'll be getting per trade now we get into the, the biggest and most important mechanic of of here of over the four which is crafting leaf crafting is one of the biggest mechanics at the moment and throughout unlocking it all the way up to the late 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 end of the game it is one of the most relevant things to be focusing on there are still three upgrades here. Those include buy a crafting certificate, which means you're able to start crafting, craft forge, which increases your craft level by one, which means you'll be able to craft higher level of leaves, and then craft hammer, which increases the chance to craft rarer leaves. Now, to get to crafting, you have to go down to the bottom menu down here, and it will look like a campfire. Click on the campfire and it will be brought up to this menu here. You have your inventory. Every leaf in here will have is your active leaves. So every, all those leaves in there will give you an active bonus. Now, you will be needing cheese to craft some leaves. Now, these leaves will be your basic leaves all the way up to, up to around your myth celestial leaf at the moment and they will give you quite nice rewards. These rewards include better trading, increased combo, and one of a nice one to have increased base level of BLC gain. Now to get cheese, 
we want to head to trading, which I forgot to send you the menu here, but this is the trading menu. As you can see here, we have void leaves and we can trade it in for blue science flasks. We can do that at the, when you first get trading, this will take two hours per trade, but you can get it down to a minimum of two hours. With, with trading, um, it takes two hours, but you can also, if you have materials, but I won't recommend this at this stage, you can boost them up as well. Now, those are the four mechanics. Once you've gone through all those four mechanics and have grinded up your BLC up to 5E7 or 50 million BLC, you have, would have had enough to unlock your mythical garden. This mythical garden is home to the mythical leaf and has some very nice upgrades in there. If you have any questions, uh, please leave them in the comments and please leave a like and subscribe as well. I'll catch you in the next one.